look to the sea. They used to say those words with reverence in the old world. All the hope that dreams could possibly build, all of that baggage heaped up and put upon the life raft that is this city, without regard for whether it was supposed to be that or not. I've had this dream before. I'm dreaming again, and I know that. I'm... I guess I'm always dreaming now. Here. In the deep. In this darkness. So if that's the case, then why don't we enjoy a change of scenery? <laughs> there. That's better. Do you know that when I was a little girl, I used to imagine that, well, I thought that whales could fly. <laughs> you know, like they could in my dreams. Like they're doing above us, even now. The hemiths in the sky. It's absolutely wild because I'd never even seen a whale before that point. But I'm sure I'd dreamt of them. I asked about it, and they told me, they being people, that is, that the whales had just gone away, left. It was obvious that it'd be left to a child's imagination to sort out. I imagined that maybe they'd decided to move on from us, lift off out of the water, Maybe it was that we didn't deserve whales anymore. But if we were good enough, one day they'd come back. When we were worthy. When we'd atoned for whatever it is we'd done. Because that's our relationship with this world, isn't it? We're always the guilty party. We've earned that. Since it is that I'm dreaming, as I always am, I suppose it's not embarrassing to admit that I started to sing to them with my mind. I didn't expect anything to come of it, but before long, I began hearing them sing back their haunting calls filtering up through the sea. But that couldn't be right. They were supposed to be far above us, weren't they? I couldn't... I couldn't get it out of my head. I needed to know, and it wasn't all that long before I learned the truth of it. That the whales hadn't just flown away, nor were they hiding from us in the waters below. No... All the whales were gone, just like I'd been told, except long since dead. We'd hunted them all the way to extinction, like the monsters we always are in stories like this. But I still hear them, you know? Here, under the waves, dead like the dreams they now keep. At least we're together now. Get me out of here. Get me out of here right now. Mom, please don't let them. This isn't right. I don't want to be here anymore. Get me out. Get me out of here. I've had this dream before. I'm dreaming again, and I know that I'm... I guess I'm always dreaming.
screaming now, here in the deep, in this darkness. No, not this time. Concentrate. I've already been here. I've already dreamt this over and over again. I'm trapped. The whales. I have to hold out. Have to stay awake. They can't. They're getting weaker. Tired in their methods. They can't contain me. They can't. No. Look to the sea. You've been listening to Cybernautica Undertow, brought to you by Red Fathom Entertainment. This episode features the voice talents of Jordan Cobb as the Siren. Undertow is directed by Amanda Hufford, written by Damien Sidlow, sound design by Chris Henry, with script editing by Jupiter Sanders. A special thank you to all of our incredible Patreon and Indiegogo backers who contributed funding to make this return to Neo Atlantis possible. If you'd like to support Red Fathom Entertainment in continuing to create Cybernautica and other great audio drama stories, please stop by our website at www.cybernauticapod.com and find any number of ways to support the show as well as follow us on Twitter at CybernauticaPod. We hope to see you again in Neo-Atlantis, listener. Look to the sea.